Well, I'm a beginner trader. I'm learning this uh, first year. And what I wanted to ask is um, if you have considered adding also test for uh, different time frames, for example, when creating strategy for one hour time frame, or do you also test it on 30 minute or four hour time frame? Because when I was learning from different sources, I stumbled upon this test as uh, it is supposed to have high value, right? Have you heard about this? And yeah, do you yeah. consider it important? Um, well, you to start at the end, yeah, you, you mm. correct. and they're often correct for the same reasons. So there's lots of different reasons to do extra tests. Um, and the one that you mentioned there is the um, extra time frame. Um, there's other ones like other currencies switching around your, um, your in Monte Carlo, all those kind of things to check your data. They're all kind of doing the same thing, is um, looking to see if the method that you're using um, works when the data is slightly different. So the idea between using a different type of data and a different type of data is just, um, in this case, a different um, time period. Um, is that you can see if the patterns you're picking up are around on other types of data. And so obviously if you've made your system on one hour and then you test it on four hour daily, five minute, 15 minute, whatever it is, and it works, then your system is going to be really robust. Now saying that we actually don't use the different, um, time periods in that way we use different markets and all these other ones um, but not different time frames uh, what we do do however is vary the indicators um, so that's multi time frame indicators i don't think it's exactly what you were saying because i think you were saying if, if something works on one hour does it work on 15 minutes is, is that what you were saying well I think that's too big, one hour and 15 minutes, but at least those two time frames that are close to each other. Yeah, so the, the just to summarize the short answer again is yes, if they work on two different time frames, then you're going to have a very robust system. Um, but no, we don't use the two time frames as a robustness test. Um, we basically stick to one hour for everything because we found that one hour is the, the nice sort of happy medium between short term, which have more noise, and long term, which has less data because there's less candles in four hours and one days. So, did that answer your question? All right, so different markets is enough, in your opinion? Yeah, I mean, while we've had some success, we can't pretend that our way is the only way to do it. But we're happy to, to um, sort of share what we've learned with people and they can um, improve their own trading from our experience. And that's great. So All right. if you can get it to work, fantastic. If you can't, it doesn't mean that it's bunk though. Um, you can use if you're making it on the Great Britain pound, you can try it on the euro or other sort of similar currency and it's the same kind of thing because what you're trying to do is say is what we made curve fit? Can it work on sort of other bits of market data that are the same but different? Yes, I understand. Thank you for your answer. I'm, I'm glad to learn from you and that is enough for me.